Hey, welcome back to Mental Health Minute. Today, I wanted to discuss something that is vital in healthy relationships, communication and boundaries. While it sounds easier said than done, boundaries are what make relationships work. Most people aren't mind readers and they usually can't tell what you're thinking. Leaving feelings unsaid can cause messy drama. For example, maybe a friend has a habit of eating off your plate, which you may not appreciate. I like to use four steps when communicating a boundary. Step one is empathizing. Hey, I know you like my food, would be a great start. Step two is expressing your problems with kind words. I really don't like when you take food off my plate without asking. This tells your friend exactly what you don't like without setting it up as an attack. Whereas saying, I hate when you steal my food, makes it sound like you're trying to pick a fight with them. Follow it up with step three, express how it makes you feel. It really made me feel frustrated. By using words like frustrated, you're telling them exactly how you feel when they act in a way that you don't like. Step four, finding a solution. Instead of taking my food, could you please ask beforehand? This offers a resolution to the conflict. Now, put it together. Hey friend, I know that you like my food, but I don't appreciate it when you take it off my plate without asking. It makes me feel very frustrated, and I was wondering if instead of taking my food, you could ask for it instead. Well, how you feel is important. It is equally as important to listen to other people's boundaries as well. Thank you for tuning in to Leander's Mental Health Minute.